You see, majority of early Hinduism, or the classical Hinduism, I could say, was non-theistic. When mm-hmm. you look at the teachings of, say, Upanishads, they don't talk about God at all. They're talking about Atman and Brahman. The two words that keep popping up in the Upanishadic teachings are not gods and goddesses. They appear sometimes in one or two words, but overall the main aim was to, you know, kind of in a way, and trying to come down to with regarding our true nature as not what we think it is, but what it truly is, and we call that Atman. Or the nature of the creation, the whole of the galaxies and universes, everything, is not of the, what, it's not the material creation, something underpinning it, and that we define as a cosmic principle called Brahman, Braha, cosmic principle, not a person, principle. So our ancient journey was not a theistic journey at all, it was mm-hmm. non-theistic. Or you can even call it atheistic. There was no, no God in that. Mm. And I personally subscribe to that because I love that. And my mentor, we are kind of subscribed to this. The God that I'm searching for is not in the heaven. No, so super person. Oh, no, I'm here, God. God is in a way percolating, expressing itself through all the living things. So he said, I'm not in love with God. I'm loving with, love, in love with all of humanity. Some, some total of humanity, all the living things, the underpinning. Mm-hmm. That is what I love. Not some super personality waving a finger at me. And that is non-theistic Hinduism. I subscribe to it. Even though I see, I value theism, I'll tell you why I value it. When you talk about Atman and Brahman, they are very abstract principles. Like saying, what is conscious? How do you experience consciousness? How do you do that? So they are very abstract. So because they are abstract, we need to in a way get a little kind of handle on it. And the way we get handle is to personify it. So we are not apologizing. That's why all these gods and goddesses crept in because we are trying to personify the underpinning to reality in in a kind of physical in a, in a, in a, with a form and with attributes. So we produce Vishnu and Shiva and Mother Goddess and all the various gods and goddesses happily. We don't apologize. Look, I'm supposed to be a physicist, right? I'm a non-theistic Hindu, and yet when I want to get a handle on this deeper re- vision regarding what is reality, what is my true nature, I hang on to a personality. You know my personality, Ram Krishna. When I want to anchor myself. To go deeper into the experience of spirit, I, I, I put in the anchor on this fellow called Ramakrishna. See, a person, physical person. So we all need an anchor to dive deeper in the ocean. So the, my anchor is also a personality. So don't vilify the personality aspect. At the same time, recognize most of Hinduism, the deeper vision of Hinduism is non-theistic. And that stands up to the challenges of science and challenges of issues regarding suffering can be better, better is resolved through this non-theistic approach to Hindu, in Hinduism. free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.